Very often when we describe antenna properties, we're going to do so by comparing the antenna that we're studying to a hypothetical lossless antenna called an isotropic radiator. So isotropic radiator and isotropic just means equal in all directions. So a isotropic radiator, it's a hypothetical lossless antenna that's going to radiate electromagnetic energy equally all in all directions. Iso meaning the same, tropic meaning direction. And so therefore, an isotropic emitter is something that radiates a spherical radiation equal in all directions. For a, ser uh, a spherical radiator, uh, we have what are called well, for all radiators, we have what are called principal patterns. That's if I cut this along the major axis of um, radiation, and um, for a spherical radiator, radi for a spherical radiator, the uh, principal plane patterns, uh, the vertical pattern and the uh, horizontal pattern, are perfect circles, right? If I cut a sphere along its two major axes, I'm just going to see circles. Um, so the isotropic antenna and its perfect spherical pattern and its perfect circular principal patterns are only theoretical. They don't actually exist, but this model serves kind of as a reference to compare against in, in um, actual antennas. And so we would call that an isotropic antenna. In contrast, a directional antenna has the property of radiating or receiving electromagnetic, electromagnetic waves more efficiently in a particular direction. Uh, so more efficiently in one direction than in another direction. So all the antenna patterns I've shown early in the video are examples of what are called directional antenna patterns. So if I were just go back a slide, that is a very common directional antenna pattern. It radiates more effectively in this direction than in, say, that direction. Sometimes antenna um, can be directional when viewed in one plane and non-directional when viewed in another plane, and such antenna are called omnidirectional, having mostly non-directional pattern in one of the principal planes and a directional pattern in any other plane. So um, here we're showing uh, a, a uh, non-directional or omnidirectional antenna, and we can see that it is not directional in the XY plane. It doesn't matter which direction we're pointing, the radiation looks the same. But as we look in the Z plane here, uh, the ZY or the ZX planes here, the radiation looks directional. So we would call this an omnidirectional antenna here. When you're discussing antenna patterns or reading about antenna patterns, you're going to frequently encounter the term azimuthal plane and the term elevation plane. Azimuth is commonly found in reference to the horizontal, and elevation is commonly applied to the vertical. And so when used to describe antenna patterns, these, uh, these terms are going to assume that the antenna is mounted or measured in the orientation in which it's going to be used. So just know that vertical and elevation mean the same thing, and we're talking about this axis here um, when the antenna is mounted in, its, um, in the manner in which it's going to be used. And horizontal and azimuth, we'll talk about this axis when the antenna is mounted in the direction that it's going to be used.